Alright, today we obtained a diamond today, and I just wanted to make a quick video of it because uh, it's a few things consumers might want to look out for when purchasing a diamond from the paperwork alone. So, you're going to see that um, it's a GIA graded diamond, it's a 252 GSI2, GIA triple excellent, no fluorescence. Now, I took off the GIA number, uh, the diamond's not the best, and I don't want to kind of knock anyone's, you know, any of my supplier's diamonds. So I kind of hit all that information. Anyway, as I scroll down, just take a look. The inclusion plot looks very nice. It has a chance of being a really good SI2. And even if you look at, um, you know, the measurements, um, so I'll let you focus on that for a minute, you could enter them in and it's going to receive really high scores. So on paper, this diamond looks really nice. Look at the inclusions, twinning wisp feathers, and so forth. Um, now, the one thing I did want to mention, many GIA reports say this, but you're going to see it says surface greening not shown. Um, and it's on many GIA reports. Many times it's irrelevant to what the human eye is going to see. Okay, now I have the diamond. It's actually the one on the left. I placed it alongside just a diamond we had in our stock and you're going to see the diamond on the left looks a little hazy and that has everything to do with the surface greening there's no fluorescence so the fluorescence isn't doing that I'm just going to show you in another light as well and even under this light you're getting that haze with the diamond on the left no I didn't really clean the diamond on the right you might see a few specks of dust and whatnot but you get the gist um, regarding the haziness I'm talking about. So, it is one of the lower priced 2.5 GSI-2s, but on the paperwork, it looked amazing. Once we see it in person, now we realize why it's priced a little bit lower than the others. Alright, hope this video helped. Thank you. Bye-bye.